Daniel. Good evening. Wilfredo, hello, how are you, mister? Wilfredo Guardado, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? How are you doing? You told me you were sick yesterday. Ooh. I I feel so good, so good. But now I feel so tired because. But tomorrow we're going to to be uh, Saturday, and and I'm going to be be great. You will be teacher. able to rest. You will be able to rest, and that's good. Well, yeah. you know, I hate vacations, man. Ah, why, teacher? Well, today in the morning, actually, today in the morning, I I took my family for breakfast, and then at noon I came back home and I was working uh, in a report that I needed to turn in for another job. Then I had to check out some stuff about this class to prepare some things for this class. You know, I always review the material before. I went to the gym and now here ready. Ready for today and let's see, tomorrow is going to be interesting for me because tomorrow I have to teach in the morning and at night I will go to uh, an English festival. Really? Yeah, because I'm teaching little kids and they are yeah. going to sing. Bien They're chico. going to sing a, yeah, a Christmas song. Hey, it is nice teacher. My my middle kids and my my youngest kids now they they are Practicing teacher or or um, ensayando? Yes, practicing. It's okay because um, in December fifteen, they they are going to sing with a a coro. How do you say in English, teacher? Choir. 
That's a very weird word to pronounce in English, my friend. Okay, hold on. They are going to sing in the theater in Santana. Oh, really? Theater? Yes. Theater. Yes. Then in 25, December 25, they are going to sing in the park, Central Park. Um, I, I guess they are going to go to sing in the in San Salvador, but I don't know where it's going to be, the concert. But it's nice. They are going to sing in, in a jingle bell. Yeah, it is the classic, classic uh, song, Christmas song. And I, I, I don't remember, but have, have you heard about... Okay, now, now, now. I got a question for you. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. No, don't worry. Tell me. Uh, in the thing that your kids are going to participate, they're just going to sing or also sing and dance? No, they are going to sing. I'll let you know why. Because in English, there's a difference. Okay, because you have two words for saying what we in Spanish call coro. Okay, coro, yes. You got in English this word, and you got in English this word. How do you pronounce, teacher? Oh, the first one is beautiful and special, man. Okay, Bro. Bro. the first one, you pronounce it. Fire, 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 fire. Ah, okay. Ah. Let me let me write it because it, it is it is okay. It is. And it the is. other one, the other one is chorus. Now the difference is this: a choir refers to a group of singers. Yes. But a chorus may include dancers or actors. Okay? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I understand that. Even though, even though both of them share some meaning, you cannot use one instead of the other one. Yes. Okay? Because remember, a choir is just vocalist. It comprises just vocalists. Only singing. Yes, while a chorus includes also dancers or acting. When they make some pres uh, presentation? Yeah, or, if, ah, okay. if they dance or act, it's a chorus. Ah, but if it's okay. just singing, it's a choir. Ah, it is okay. And, and you have some students practicing, teacher? Yeah. I got 20 students practicing. It is nice. Teacher, um, some, I, I remember five years ago, we act, act, uh, actuamos. We act, we, we act. well, you can say we act, but, or you can say we act out. But in, we act, act out. Um, okay. But, or depending. Yes. Uh, what you mean? I think that what you mean is this. We represent. Ah, uh, okay. But, uh, um, uh, teacher, um, sordo mudo, how do you say in English? The people that. Uh, that Death can, and mute. Doesn't talk. Death Please? and mute. Death, death, and mute. Mute. I'm um, okay, but um, in my job, we have some people that doesn't doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. Sordos. Yeah. But death. we we sing, we song, uh, biancicos. And they they act in signal language. Yeah, signal, sign, yeah, the, signal. sign, sign language, sign language, sign, sign language. Um, yes. Okay. 
but okay now they... look the word is written like this def mute def dash mute well this is not a dash this is a hyphen def hyphen mute but when you say it you say def and mute ah okay by they uh, they translate the the song um, and do you know do you know that they speak in English? Uh, the, the, los, los sordos. Yeah. They they learned and they read. actually this the sign language yes. is the same for English and Spanish. Yes, yes, because they say water, this is a signal. Yeah. Water. But yeah. in Spanish, water it is different. In English. Uh, water. I, I I need to drink water. In Spanish, quiero tomar agua. Yeah. Yes. Um, but they they know um, universal. Uh, uh, no, it is uh, United States uh, language. Estados Unidos. Yeah. You say language. Yeah. Know. Lesa. Final. Lesa. Yes. Yes. Then they they were um, translating the thing have you heard teacher era rodolfo unreno era rodolfo unreno to be la... honest with you to be honest with you wilfredo i hate christmas ah, I, I i imagine because you you were talking about you about to that. be honest with you i don't like christmas and so Christmas carols for me is like uh you you don't buy quite a teacher never have really no nope. what about Quetes. your children yes firecrackers firecrackers firecracker yeah there's a difference between firecrackers and fireworks firecrackers are what we call cuetes. And yeah. fireworks is like uh, the ones that go up and explode. Light, uh, technical yeah. light. Yeah, those are fireworks. Yes. Um, what about your children, teacher? They don't nope, like it. No, he doesn't. No, the problem is this. I just have one son. And, uh, and when he was a little kid, he had serious problems with asthma and allergies. It is dangerous for, for yep. him or he her. For him. Him. And he, he yeah. Is a boy? yeah, it's a boy. He's like well, he's 19 years old. And how how old is he? He is 19. 19. Hey, like my my younger kids. Yeah, my son is 19 years old. Um, well, you know, he's a grown up already. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be careful with him. Yeah, well, now, you know, exercising has helped him a lot because now he practices uh, kickboxing. Really? Yeah. Actually, nice oh, actually next next weekend, we are going to pass by Santa Ana because they have an event in Huachapan. Really? Yeah. It is, a, next, it is going to be night teacher. Yeah, it's gonna be I, cool. They, teacher, they I have... practice. I practice, and um, I remember seven or eight years practicing, but full contact. Oh, really? Yes, I enjoy it. Uh, fighting. You know, I practice uh, lifting yards, arras. You know, I practice lifting yards, <laughs> lifting remote control. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good practice for me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, teacher. But hey, Wilfredo, welcome teacher. to the class. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we welcome. got to carry on on the conversation. It was nice welcome talking teacher. to you. Thank you. Let's see. Where's Erwin? Hello, Erwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. And you? Ah, just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story as usual. 
what's the real uh, version? Do you hate Christmas or do you, you don't like Christmas? It's different. Uh, let me see. I kind of hate Christmas. You know, okay. it's not it's not one of my favorite festivities. And let's see. Yeah, yeah not my thing. Okay. I dis I dislike the noise. I dislike the mostly the noise. Okay, but you don't and, like the, the 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 festivity of the uh, Christmas Eve. No. This is the part of that you don't like, or do you hate? Yeah, you know, it's just that. To be honest, I. I, I, I never understand, I understand that you you are Christian, right? No. Well, no. The thing is, the situation is this. Uh, uh, my parents, my mother was, uh, she is a uh, Jehovah Witness. Okay. So we never practice. Uh, celebrate. Uh -huh. We never celebrated nothing, nor... Uh, it's like in my case, I have never celebrated a birthday. Okay. And I never, when I was a kid, I never celebrated Christmas. And when I was a teenager, when I was 16, I could, I was able to take my own decisions. And my parents let me like, well, it's up to you now. But okay. uh, what I used to do was, go visit some relatives and and you know just kick it with them but okay not like part of the celebration it was because mm -hmm. that was like my 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 free time mm -hmm. so i'm not into celebrations that much and actually you know the problem is this i'm kind of a boring person okay like parties is not my thing you know when i was a teenager I was known to arrive to a party reading a book. Okay. So, and then uh, when I went to the university, yeah, I used to party a lot with my friends, but that's a <laughs> whole different story. Yeah. I know what you are talking about. Yeah, I mean, we used to go out, stay out late at night, and, but that was different. Okay. But into celebrations, I don't know. And, and the other thing is this. I don't like kind of visit a lot of relatives. Uh -huh. So on those days, I mostly stay home. Okay. In my case, what about you? I, I think, uh, or I always said I, I have sangre de garrobo because my parents are from San Miguel. Okay. So this is a carnival land. Oh, really? So when I hear some tropical music like cumbias, you start salsa, moving. merengue, I start to dance. <laughs> Me pican las patas, decía mi abuelita. Well, you know what? Anice I love dancing. Aniceto Molina, Erwin. Uh, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I love dancing, but I don't like cumbia. Okay. Even though I know how to dance cumbia, but um, I don't really like cumbias. Okay. Because back in the days, uh, I was I was like playing in a in a musical uh, band, and we used to play cumbias, a little bit of salsa, and merengue. Uh -huh. So I learned my 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 musical teacher. Uh, he taught me how to play. Uh, cumbias, a merengue, but then uh, with my wife, we love dancing. We really okay. love dancing. This kind of music, too. Yeah, well, actually, with my wife, you gotta dance everything, because she loves dancing. Whatever it's playing, she's gonna dance. Okay. Okay. And, I mean, I do it. So you like dancing? Yeah. Um, I dance... Uh, as I remember, since five or six years, when I was six or or, or five. 
Oh, really? Since mm -hmm. I was fit, six or five mm -hmm. years old. Oh, that's cool. So you really have fun. Yeah, yeah. And what about your wife? Does she like dancing? Uh, no. Your wife she's, doesn't like? No, she's <laughs> something, uh, some, some, someone uh, um, boring too. Oh, uh, really? She, 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 and every uh, special celebration or in every party, she told me, hey, would you like to dance? Yes. Okay. Do you see that girl? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's go and dance with her. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Ma. That's nice. Well, the important part is that you have fun. Yes. 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 Excellent. She's, she's per permissible to. <laughs> yeah. She allows you to. That's cool. That's cool. Erwin, yeah. welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Well, we got a party girl here. Let's see, Marta. Yeah, Marta is a party girl. Right, Marta? Really? No, teacher. <laughs> the other way around, Marta. Not really. Not really, teacher. Oh, come on. You don't like dancing? Yes, I like, but mm, it's not frequently get out for to dance. No. Oh, only, really? only when I invite a, a party, but it's not frequently for, for me. Oh, so sad to hear that. Come on. I am bored, teacher. I am bored. <laughs> me too, but I like dancing. <laughs> yeah, me too. I like dancing. I used to dance a lot. Nowadays, because of the pandemic, well, you know, it's different. We don't go out as much as we want. But like uh, before, before the pandemic, uh, we used to go dancing at least at least once a month. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, to go out, you know, relax a little bit. Yeah, the it's only, very important. The only belt the only bad part is that I am always the designated driver. So like <laughs> 1, 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm driving and everybody's like asleep on the car. You are Uber teacher. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Who else is around? Shanira or Shanira? Hello, teacher. What about you, Janita? Come on. Well, you like dancing? Uh, I like, yes, I like, but uh, same like Marta, only when it's a uh, uh, holiday, like a uh, party for, Oops, for I'm sorry, Janita. Christmas party. I, I, will stop, I will stop you just for a second. I have forgotten the, the, the attendance. I'll take it right now. Okay, okay we will okay, continue. Okay. I'll, I will continue with you. Ambarelli Alparo Gomez, not here. Uh, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Ascensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Coronejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. 
present. Okay, so Yanira, you were telling me. Well, I like dance, but usually I dance in a party when my relatives make a party, but uh, it's not common. It's the same story like uh, Marta, for example, for Christmas party or a special occasion. Okay. When my relatives throw a party. Throw a party. Yeah, you don't make a party, you throw a party. Okay, what is the difference, teacher? No difference, it's just that we don't say we make a party. If you say we make a party, you are saying hacemos un grupo. Oh, okay, okay. Throw a like, party. Uh, yes, if you say we make a party, you are saying that you make a party to, to go walking in the woods, you know, in the forest. Okay, okay. So when it. you refer when you refer to this topic we are talking about, you throw a party. Okay, okay, throw a party. I get yeah. it. So for Christmas, you say New Year's Eve. Yeah, I have a, a big family then when we stay together, um, same like uh, er Erwin. Uh, Someone put a music and I don't know, begin the party. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, you get a party out of the blue. I mean, you don't need that much to create to 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 to, to have a party with your family. That's nice. Yes, for or for birthdays, I don't know. For a uh, special occasion. Okay. I don't know how to say 15 años. As... Well, in English, there's not 15. In, in, yeah, it's 16. In the United, in the United States, you sweet celebrate 16. Sweet 16, exactly. Yeah, yeah. When a uh, prima, I forgot. Cousin. How do you say prima? Cousin. Cousin? Uh, some cousin come here because she knows that here in El Salvador is, is better in the Paris than the US. Then she come here for celebrate uh, her sweet, her 16th sweet. Sweet 15. Sweet 15. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. cool. That's nice. She came. Remember, she came. Oh, she came. Yeah, she came. Janira, nice talking to you. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Fernando, what about you? Fernando looks pretty serious. Hi, teacher. Do you like parties? Uh, yes, I like, but dance is not for me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Yeah. Okay, I, tell me, what what does your wife need to make you dance? Uh, no, uh, the case is I dance, but only in case of emergency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please tell me, how do you define an emergency for dancing? Okay, when 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 we we go to a party, so yeah. Uh, she like she like, she like dancing and she wants to, to she wants to dance so this is case of emergency so I when there's I nobody don't... else with whom she could dance <laughs> yes so I don't take the the the, the initiative yeah the, the initiative, oh, the initiative. Really? oh it's it's not my proposal to dance so but she really likes so I had to go to dance yeah. I understand you. I understand well, you. That's nice. I, I I don't say no, but it's not my favorite things to yeah, do in a party. Yeah, it's not something that you are like you are eager to dance all the yeah. time. Yes, but I try. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. You know, in my case, the problem is that 
I can be sitting and no problem. I mean, people is dancing and for me it's okay. But once salsa music starts playing, man, I gotta dance. Okay, it's your favorite. Yeah, I love dancing salsa. That's my favorite musical rhythm to dance. I, I, I don't have a, a favorite genre to dance. <laughs> So oh, yeah. that's is not for me, but I try when you do it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. We will take a poll right now. We will ask Mr. Osorio, what about you? Jose. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Then. Oh, good teacher. It was a very busy week, and generally on Fridays I more work more. Is the reason that I feel a little tired? Ah, oh, not generally. Remember, I usually. I usually, teacher. Okay, I get it. Oh, really? Well, we're taking a poll right now, so let us know. Tell us, do you like dancing? No, teacher, I don't like dancing. I never dancing in my life. I oh, never, no, because I'm a, I'm a rocker boy. <laughs> I don't like dancing. Well, you know what? I used to be a rocker. Yes, teacher. I used to be what a rocker. What kind of rock do you like it? Uh, Black, Dale, Doom. Doom metal. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's really. Yeah, once in a while I still listen to Doom. I mean, and do you like I, the I went, like symphonic metal, teacher? Yeah, I went to uh, when Therion came. I went. Uh, they were presenting Lemuria. I like I like Therion, teacher. And I went to their concert. Yes, in Honduras or in El Salvador. In El Salvador. Ah. Uh, well, teacher. I went to yeah. Lips Eyes also. And, and one and of my favorite you... bands is Theatry of Tragedy. Ah, uh, Theatry of Tragedy. I like Theatry of Tragedy, teacher. And, and, and my other and... favorite band is uh, Lacrimosa. Man, Lacrimosa. Lacrimosa. But Lacrimosa is. is uh, yeah, it's a different genre. Yes, teacher, it is. It's heavy, like heavy metal. And have you heard uh, Haggard? Oh, yeah, sure. And one I of like the best. Haggard. A lot, teacher. And their my spots like, like Haggard and Therion, too. Yeah, their concert in Mexico was good. Good, good. Yeah, I and can... One of my favorite songs of, of Therion is Citra Ara and Jinunga Gap. Yeah, my favorite, let's see, what's the name of this song, man? I always forget it. Mm -hmm. Man, I will try to remember because I got a favorite <laughs> song of, of yes, Haggard. Yes, uh, in oh, uh, Awaken, Awaken the Centuries is Haggard. Oh, that's, my yeah, Awaken the Centuries uh, from Haggard, that's the bomb for me. I mean, yes. I can go to sleep peacefully listening to that. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, how do you say usted anda en algo in English? <laughs> I don't know. Something like you are cool. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, mean, I, I like I like that music. You know, the thing yeah. is this. I also like uh, symphonic music and classical music. Yes, teacher. Uh, and I if like, you like If you like those types of music, you are pretty close to doom. Yes, teacher. And I usually enjoy when I listen uh, Iron Maiden too. In, oh, when yeah. Iron Maiden came to El Salvador, uh, I went uh, to the, the concert with, with my wife. The beast. Yeah. Yes, Fear of, Fear of the, the Dark is the my beast. favorite album. Ah, yes, teacher. You're right. And uh -huh. Fear of the Dark and one album of 2003, I remember is. Uh, yeah. I forgot the name. Yeah, but 2003, you're talking way for. No, you know, the, the funny thing is this uh, actually, I got introduced into rock 
because of a girlfriend I had, because she was a rocker. And oh. she introduced me to rock to, to Maiden, actually, because it was her favorite band. I remember yes. I, was, I was somewhere like, I was 13 years old at that time. I was 13, um, and she was uh, like 17, so she was really into it. Yes, teacher. Um, have you heard uh, about the great uh, four? The great four. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh huh. It's uh, yes, the, my now favorite. You're talking business. Yes, teacher. <laughs> now you're talking business, yeah. No, it's cool. I mean, I used to, I started listening to, let's see. Um, what do you call because Maiden is not heavy metal. Maiden is a. Uh, 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 um. uh, it's, it's called British Heavy, New British Heavy Metal. Uh, yeah, but some of their albums are into another gym. It's like. Uh, like, uh, like a power, power metal. Yeah, power, uh, power, power, metal. Power, metal. power metal. Power metal, yes. Actually, I like power, but the British, the European. I don't like the American power. It's not my thing. Ah, yes. I agree with you. Sound. It's a yes. whole different sound. Totally different. Yeah, and, and on black, well, I didn't listen that much of black metal, but uh, you know, Cradle of Field. Ah, yeah, Danny Field is the the singer, principal singer. Yeah, it's a Danny classic. Field. And other band I like too is uh, uh let me let me a second to remember teach. Uh, and also the the, the, I forgot the, the, <laughs> the the girls vocalist man they are cool yes it's true. Um, in black and in doom they are great the dead of love is a one song it's on my favorite song mm -hmm. and nymphetamine uh, nymphetamine is good yeah uh, nymphetamine nymphetamine. Is good. yes yeah. it's true. Other I remember that one. yeah but in my case, we are talking around 1999, 1998. And, and how old are you, teacher? Excuse me the, the, for the for us. The question. Okay, next the question. Next Friday, I will turn 42. Ah, you are younger, teacher. Yeah, the thing is that my friends were older than me. Oh. My group of friends. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, but, I understand you know, it. It's nice. Hey, nice talking to you, Jose. Hey, nice talking to you too, teacher. Let's see. Maria Alejandra. Hey, hey. Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Sorry, but I okay. hear a motorcycle. <laughs> okay, what are we going to talk about? You got two topics now, and I got excited. Dancing or... <laughs> Heavy metal, Rob. <laughs> I don't like the both. <laughs> you don't like neither? Come no. on. No, teacher. Mm. I don't like the dancing. And I don't uh, listen to heavy metal. Um, well, actually, we were talking about some higher genres. <laughs> yeah, but come on, shame on you. You gotta dance. Mm, we, we will I tell know. you. I don't we have. We will a... tell your boyfriend to take you out dancing. <laughs> eh, because is that eh, I don't have a como ritmo. <laughs> rhythm? Oh, really? Yes, teacher. I don't know, but. I don't feel, I feel the music, uh, but I... It's hard for I, you to follow the rhythm. Yes, and I I don't know, I don't, don't, I have a problem with a coordination, I don't say, or coordinar, me cuesta coordinar. And you drive a car? <laughs> no, but no, it's a problem that physical I'm that kidding, is. A... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Maria Alejandra. I'm just kidding. Well, Maria Alejandra, welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher.
Let's see, Nicolas, hello. Since Nicolas somewhere around. Nope. Okay. Jose Wilfredo, good evening. How are you, mister? Is it me? No, it's not me. Gosh, nobody want to talk to me. Let's see, Miss Sylvia, good evening. Hello, doctor. Oh, finally, somebody wants to talk to me. Hi, Sylvia, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What about you? I'm just great. You know, I was like kind of down, but then we started talking about two topics that I enjoy, so I'm up again. Tell me, what about you? Do you <laughs> like dancing? Mm, I don't like dancing at all, but when there is like a party, I try to do it just to enjoy the time. Oh, but I don't, okay. I don't know how to dance very well. Well, you know that actually what you said is the important part to enjoy it. I mean, you enjoy it and that's cool. Yeah, that's right. I enjoy the time dancing, but is, I know I, I don't do have it a well. good time. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And what about you? Do you dance when you go to a party or do you don't go to any party? Uh, when it's merengue and salsa, man, I love it. <laughs> I also I also dance bachata, but uh, I dance it, but I don't really like it that much. Yeah, I yeah it's like me i like uh merengue salsa all that kind of music but bachata and i don't i don't like it at all yeah and i can dance it but not really my thing <laughs> yeah i have I, to learn because my wife enjoys it so i have to learn oh, how really? to dance it but yeah she loves dancing she dance whatever it's playing she's gonna dance it Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really even nice. when she's at home, if there's if it starts sounding some music that she enjoys, she starts moving. She's like that. Ah. She loves dancing. Ah, no. Yeah, the music it's it's really nice. Yeah. What's your favorite that's... type of music then? My favorite type of music, uh when it's when I want to dance, it's salsa and merengue, but uh, when I want to just relax and have a good day, I like um, romantic music. I like some 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 bachata mm -hmm. and okay. some bachata and also uh, hip hop. A lot of reggaeton. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't like it. I don't Thank listen you. any regular reggaeton. I I don't like it. Okay, that's nice. You know, I like you more right now. Okay. And what about yeah, you? Do you like reggaeton? No way, Jose. <laughs> that's not my thing. I hate that. I despise that type of music. It's just that me too. Not my thing, not really my thing. I can listen to almost any kind of music, but reggaeton, man. No, it's no, not good. Not for me. Not for me. I mean, there's a lot of people who really enjoy it, and that's cool for them. But for me, mm -hmm. I have some neighbors. I have some neighbors that are all time listening to reggaeton. <laughs> oh man, that yeah. would drive me crazy. I have crazy. to listen, but I, I, I don't know how to say. I suffer. Yeah, I can understand you. <laughs> you know what's the bad thing with me? That if yeah. I start listening to music, I have a problem, and is that. I learn them, I memorize them. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. <laughs> and that's that terrible because I mean, you don't like them, but they get stuck in your mind, right? Yeah, that's right. And then you start to sing. <laughs> or at least to hum <laughs> along, you know, you're so like, mm. then you go like, no, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me also. Sylvia, nice talking to you, welcome. Okay, thank you. Let's see, where is uh, 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 Claudia? Hello, Claudia Ramos. Good evening. Hello, 
Hello, teacher. And what about you, my dear? Dancing? Do you like it? I like it, but I can a little. Ah, yeah, but I mean, that's not necessary. As long as you like dancing, I mean, you move, right? Yes, teacher. But I really, I really fancy. Okay, and what about your favorite type of music? Which one is it? Uh, I like salsa and okay. um, bachata. Okay, that's fine. Yes, and electronic music. Oh, really? That's interesting. So you like like trance? Yes, teacher. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, even though trance almost is dead, a lot of electronic music is dead nowadays. I mean, <laughs> they became like pop. Okay, teacher. I understand. Yeah, that happens. Well, interesting. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hey guys, thank you and welcome everyone. Welcome Walter, William Rosales. Let's see who else I didn't talk to. Uh, uh, um, I didn't talk to Jose Wilfredo. But let's see, and Nicolas, we gotta work. Well, we've been working actually, we've been having a conversation, but now we are going to move because I told you that we were going to work today with the first with the conversation. We are going to go to your manuals if you got them handy. We're going to be working in page number 30. Okay, there's a conversation for us to practice. Let me share with you so we can start with that exercise. Okay, here we go. The conversation is this one and says as follows. Just let me get the picture for you. I always send it to the group. See, cool. Okay, the conversation goes like this. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. I repeat. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, guys, now you're going to be assigned a partner for you to practice and you are going to have four minutes to practice. Please, let's jump in. Groups are created. Jose, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. I was asking everybody about you and you didn't answer me. I mean, 
I'm sorry, teacher, because I have a call um, about the... the... I, ima I imagine you were busy. You guys are, I mean, working from home is a problem. Yeah, that's right, teacher. So I wasn't in a call, so that's why I cannot answer you, but thank you, thank you, teacher, for being pending. No problem, no problem. There's, there's Fernando here to work with you, okay? Hey, Wilfredo. Let me get you into another group because your friend didn't connect. No? Hi, it teacher. Appears. Let's see. No, 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 no. Let me see. Which group is I don't have for classmate to practice. Don't worry. I'll send you to another group right away. Okay. The brand of the service you providing to improve the bit. How do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me with business car. Your client can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay. You start now? Yes. I went into the business as a lawyer uh, six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way or of legal trouble for a ship price by they seem to prefer the, comp the competition probably you need to define the brand of the services you are providing to improve the business how do i do that i just usually get the customer do some promotion for me with business card your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of the love you're focused on. No, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. I went in, in business as a lawyer six months ago, but I, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way to out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the run of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me with business car. Your client can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of the load you, you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. I went into the business, was a liar, lawyer, six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way up, out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually get the customer do some promotion for me with business card. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. 
you already decide what kind of law you're focused on. Now, now you have to focus on kind of client you want to work with and uh, with Okay, everybody's coming back right about now. Let's see. Mr. Osorio and William, Jose, you'll start. Okay, teacher. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I borrowed barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but them seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising you already decided what can allow you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, perfect. Fernando and Jose Wilfredo. Fernando, you'll start. Fernando here. Ooh, no, 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 I think that's the connection problem. Your, your microphone. Who's mine? Um, I guess his. No, he's not here yet. Okay, don't worry, Jose. We'll try. You'll do it later, okay? Okay, okay. There's Maria Alejandra and Shanira. Please, Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay, teacher. I went into the business as a liar six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal troubles for a cheap price by but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business card. Your clients can help you to do all the, all the advertising. You already decide what kind of love you're focused on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. Perfect. Claudia Ramos and Silvia Pineda. Claudia, you'll start, please. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. 
I had to find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business card. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You need you al you already decide what kind of flaw you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Claudia, legal, legal. Legal. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see. Nicholas and Walter. Nicholas, you'll start. I went, I went in, into business as a lawyer six months ago. But I, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. The way, and probably you need to define the brand, the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? Usually less customers do. Some promotion for, for me with business cards. You are playing and cannot help you to do all the advertising. You are ready to say the one and care of let you focus on. Now you have to focus on the, the case of or playing you want to work with and finding the brand you want. Okay. Let's see. Now it's going to be Erwin and Marta. Marta, you'll start. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Uh, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I, how do, I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Um, your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of law you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, perfect. Now, Wilfredo and Wilfredo. And it's going to start Mr. Wilfredo Guardado. <laughs> okay, did you? I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way of the legal people for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. I think he's busy right now. Let's, let's see, I'm going to help you. Probably okay. you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. So I do that. I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. 
Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, very well done, Thank teacher. You. Thank you, appreciate it, my friend. <laughs> That's yeah, great, that's great. Perfect. Okay, Mr. Soyo. Let's see, guys. Now, let me get the attendance, please. Teacher. Somebody, Alfaro Gomez, yes. It is the first um, attendance. Or the second? No, the second, the second, my friend. Because I, I, I don't remember if I, I, you. Yeah, but I, name. I click you. Don't worry. Okay. I got you in. Okay, thank Ambarelli you. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Osegueda. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Thank you, Roxana. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Thank you, Silvia. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you, my dear. Okay, guys, let's continue. Well, if you remember yesterday, we were talking a little bit about the causative verbs. And we were saying that causative verbs are the ones that uh, make somebody else do something for the first person, right? Like, and we have some examples and we were explaining some of them. Now we're going to go to another part of the explanation. Today we are going to be working with uh, the verbs let and the verbs help. Now, uh, let me see. Am I right? Yeah, let and help. Now, in this case, there's something that we must be clear. Let means allowed or permit. Okay, but in, when it is used as a causative, it can, it can vary a little bit, okay? Like, uh, let me go. The teacher let the students discuss among themselves. I let her drive my car. Let's love and live a happy life. You see, there's a different meaning when there's not a subject. Now, when we use help, in the case of help, it's different because help is not actually a causative verb, but is generally regarded as a causative verb, mostly because of its grammatical use in a sentence. And this one got two different structures, but right now we are just going to focus in one. Let me show you what you got in your manual in page number 31. Here we go. Okay. We got here help. The training helps small business owners replicate the success of big brands. A marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. 
Now, if you notice here, you can use the base form or the infinitive, no problem. Okay, you can use whichever and both are correct. There is not a difference, okay? Then when we use let, some companies let clients go to a service trial before they decide to purchase. An effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. You see, an effective brand allows, permits people explore the benefits of their products. Some companies allow or let clients go to a service trial before they, they decide to purchase. In this case, if you notice, when we are using let, then we have another subject and then the base form, okay? Now, we are going to do the exercise working in small groups, okay? Let me get you the picture of the exercise so you can do it working together. There we go. This is going to be quite fast, okay? In around three minutes, we are going to finish. I'll give you four minutes to be sure, okay, guys? And let me see how groups are now. Please jump in. This is the, is this the model group teacher? No. Okay. Can you send me to the small group, please? Okay. I'll send you to one and then I'll send you to another one because you are like, uh, I cannot get you directly to the same one. Okay. Okay. Samira, let's see.
Hello, teacher. What's I, happening? I don't know. I have problems with my connection and I go to the little group and come back here and go and, and come back. I lost a uh, connection for a few minutes. I sent you. Okay, thank you. Francisco, are you around? Perfect, Jose. So I'll send you to a group right now, okay? Because I have you in a group alone. There you go. Okay, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, let's see. Everybody's here. Yep. Continue. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Sentence number one. Let's see who's gonna help me with sentence number one. Erwin, you're go you're the chosen one, please. Number one, uh, uh, think about you, how your business helps your customer satisfy their needs. Excellent. Thank you very much. Claudia Ramos, number two. Number two, investor won't let companies develop without without a plan to improve business brand brands okay excellent number three fernando the plan helps employees uh become or to become part of the brand excellent whichever way it's okay now let's see maria alejandra number four Everything. Uh, being, I, I don't know to pronounce. Being, specific? Uh, specific about our business brand lets customer identify our products easily. Okay, excellent. Let's. Great, great. Because being specific about the business brand is the third person, okay? Branding number five goes to Walter. Walter, it's yours. Uh, 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> writing and let the customer and add a perceived value the product. Perceive. Perceive. Perceived. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Now, next activity. Let's see. You see, there's here a checklist of the steps to define a brand of a, the brand of a product. We have a basic checklist that we have to read and discuss. We are not going to discuss it, okay? Here you go. Is your branding strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? And this is supposed to be done for uh, your company, but now we're going to focus on this. Your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. Your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why it is important. The brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. Now, this is the exercise that we are going to do. In groups, you are going to choose a famous national product or service and decide there's the checklist. What you are going to do is answer the checklist. Imagine that you are part of that company, that the brand that you choose, the national brand that you choose is yours, okay? It's your company and you are going to check it out. Let me get you the exercise. We will do this exercise in five minutes it's quite easy because then we're going to do a very interesting one so let me open the room you got five minutes remember it's just like answering the checklist according to the brand discuss please if you check yes or no it's out of your discussion I visit galerias maybe once a year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on Multiplaza. Maybe once or twice a year. <laughs> yes. Oh, my Alejandra goes quite regularly. You know, she almost leaves yes. her. Yes. No, teacher. I don't like <laughs> going to the She's got, she's got the money to, to spend. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Choose cat. No, because you don't. Uh, you, you know the brand.
ranchers. The um, ranchers ranch. that unique. Hey, how do you pronounce this word? Share unique. I, I don't know uniqueness. No, uniqueness. Uniqueness. Of what you offer and why is it is important. Um, it's about the offer, the product. It's you, your brand is a offer, a unique product, for uniqueness. example. Uniqueness. Uh, uniqueness. Uniqueness. Yeah, sorry, uniqueness. I was talking and my microphone was off. My bad. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uniqueness of what you offer in our case, obviously, because the brand shares your necklace and why and it is important. you offer and why it is important. Well, in this question, I guess that after we can choose yes or no, we have to describe what is important. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe yes, because uh, the the product can be enjoyed for the audience that we target. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess that we can use yes. The number okay. three, the brand, number three, reflects. the brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Yes. Okay, yes, right? Yeah, yes. Number four, number your four. brand reflects the value that you want to represent as a customer. And yes, so. Okay. Perfect. We choose Chorrito Diana, teacher. That's cool. I. I really like your discussion, guys. Yeah. Okay. okay so the other, I guess that it's one of the best brand in El Salvador for snacks. Yeah, it's quite it's, it's quite well known. It's quite well known, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in this case, and I mean, in talking about that brand, it's easy to say that it relates to to the target audience instantly. I mean, you say Diana and everybody knows that it's one type. The good thing yeah. about the brand is that they have a variety of products that yeah. if you don't like one, you like another one. Yeah, that's right. And if you are all like me, you even remember it, bring, it can bring back memories from, from the past. Yeah, that's right, teacher. Yeah, and also uh, the brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Yeah, sure. I mean, you identify the brand and, well, it actually targets everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, that... you chose a very, you made a very wise decision. <laughs> yeah. The, all, the only interesting is this one. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. That would be interesting. That's it. I think so that the yes teacher because all the, the people uh, want to try something that they really like. And Churrito Diana has a, a lot of priority to to enjoy it. Mm, okay. whatever what you like uh-huh excellent excellent well we go back to the main room because we have a very interesting activities next okay teacher okay let's see everybody's coming back yeah right
give him just a couple of seconds to be back here. Okay, guys, it was interesting. I went from to a couple of groups and it was a very, very interesting activity. But now we are going to get to the, not to the good one, but the one that it, for me is like kind of the most interesting. We are going to do an exercise of reading comprehension, okay? In your manual, in page number 32, we got this text, okay? It's an article actually, it's adapted from Forbes.com. And the article about the importance of being first to create a memorable brand. Then we have a couple of questions that we will answer, okay? And it starts like this. About 40 years ago, marketing strategies, Al Rice and Jack Chute offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be the first into your prospect minds, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox. It's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't help ourselves. Marketers know, it, know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix will have never made it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time, Netflix launched the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the mind of pro most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, this is very important. Look. Let's try to understand this. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Yeah, it's like scotch tape, right? Scotch, I mean, for us, we already identified the product. And the name, actually, this is the name of the product. It's like Kleenex. Everybody knows what is a Kleenex. And as soon as you hear the word, you relate to the exactly to the product. The same as Xerox. And with Xerox, there's something interesting, you know? In English, Xerox became a verb. Xerox is the brand, okay? But in English, if you say, oh, I, I need to set up some documents, what you mean is that you need to photocopy machine some documents. But in English, you can say, oh, I need to set up some documents. So the word became synonymous of the, of the machine. And actually, for a time, it became also a verb. It's quite, quite interesting. Now, the activity. 
taking into consideration the information you get from the text. And I will share the text with you. You're going to do an exercise of reading comprehension, okay? What, are, what does it mean? How much we understand out of this through, you will show it through answering the questions. Now, who offered the concept of memorable branding? What are some brands that have become synonymous with their function? You need to add three more. You can relate to perhaps to another national brand if you want. What is a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? That's in the text. What will have happened if Reed Hastings had opened rent a video stores instead of innovating the service? And the last one, what did Netflix do differently? Okay, guys, believe it or not, I am anxious and I'm eagerly waiting to see what your answers are for these questions. It's a very interesting article. I'll send you to the group. You will have actually 10 minutes to do the exercise. If you need any help, let me know so I can jump into your group. Please, let's jump in. I think I return to the main session, teacher. No, no, you are in the small group. Okay, thank you. Hello. Nicholas, there's Nicholas and there's William. Hello, Nicholas, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Yeah, fine, thank you, <clears throat> fine. Very tired. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine, a long day. You know, Nicholas, in, in England, your name refers to what in the in America is Santa Claus. Yes, of course. In English is Father Nicholas. You oh, don't say yes. Santa Claus, you say Father Nicholas or the Father teacher, Christmas. Yes. What is the day of St. Nicholas for No idea. Yeah? No the idea. Day. Ah, really? it's December 6th. No idea at all. My my birthday is December oh, 6th. Oh, that's why. That's why. Because my father, my 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 grandfather, uh, the name is Nicholas. My father is Nicholas. I am Nicholas, and my son is Nicholas. So you are Nicholas the third. Yes, I am. That's cool. Okay, okay birthday is. It's um, December 6th. It gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political situation, positions, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect, might with the same perception, you have hopes to create your find it is hard to push them, push them out. A better plan, it is to pick up a different perception. One that you can be the first to put in to put into your prospect. Mine. Would you continue? Okay. Netflix would have never made it for Reed Hastings. Idea had been to open a bunch of a store to complete with blockbuster. At the time, Netflix launched the perception of blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped 
that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online that was new. Uh, okay. Okay. And then we, we have to answer this question according to the reading. Yeah. The first sentence is who offered the concept of memorable branding? Do you know um, what is size step, guys? Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Do you know what is to size step? Side step in the in the almost in the last line. Netflix side step that problem by Netflix creating a perception. Step. Yes, side step means desligar. Desligar. Esquivar. Esquivar. Ah. ah, okay. No, teacher, I, I cannot this word. Okay, I'll let you work. I'll be gone. Teacher, okay. yes. we have to answer this question according to the reading. Yep. Um, okay, okay, Marta, for example, who of Silvia. Hello. Hello, guys. What happened? You didn't get the invitation to join the room? I got teacher, but I don't know why I was rejected. Okay, let me do something. I'll send you to another group. Thank you, teacher. The same goes for you, Silvia. At the end, it's story. Yeah, as you say, I want some legia. Uh, the thing, the people doesn't think in a specific plural. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. the, and the coffee? Uh, I don't know. But for me, because cafe is not a, a a branding related to, to all the products in general, like no, Ukraine. Para, or, or... para listo is. <laughs> <laughs> listo, and coffee listo. and coffee yeah. rico. <laughs> listo is, oh, is yeah. related to all. Yeah, actually, rinso is one. Uh, you know, another yeah, one rinso. is. Uh, Assisting. Yeah. Uh, bloomer. You know, bloomer, uh, yeah, yeah, bloomer actually, is that brand. was it is the brand, bloomer is a brand, oh. yes. but it refers specifically to a product, yeah. Bloomer. And and then the, the actually, the word in English is panties. Oh, okay, yeah. bloomer was bloomer is a last name, was the last name of the guy who created it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's that funny, a right? example. Yeah. yeah. But better choose another one. <laughs> yes, guys. Uh, teacher, we're going to do the exercise number seven, or are we going to work with the unit three and exercise. We number... are in page number thirty-two. Exercise answering the questions. Exercise two. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Who teacher. offered the concept of memorable branding? What are some brands that have become synonymous with their function? Okay. Okay, perfect teacher. Thank you. And remember that in number two, when it says I'll three more, it's like when you're talking about like uh, Rinso could be an example, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Because Rinso is actually a brand. Uh -huh. But you hear the word and you re automatically relate to the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have yeah. to make uh, I, I let you work. Okay, we have to complete the exercise too, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you.
Hagen if Red Hagen mm -hmm. open the rent store instead in a innovation the service. Oh my God, it's the moment and and will be bad. Already they have had a, a, a customer and a sales, but it's... My sister saw this period. Ah, yeah. <laughs> What do you Netflix do differently? Your own content. Uh -huh. Your different content. Uh -huh. different or content. exclusive because is to Netflix create their content or make a content than the other platforms don't have or the or other place don't. Uh -huh, don't have. Mm -hmm. New interesting content and innovative. Uh, to practice and to know how to speak perfectly or something like that. The name of this app is uh, Finish Guys. Huh? Ah. Ah? Sorry? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Let's go. So, okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Who offered the concept of memorable branding? Tell me, uh, Erwin, what you got for this answer? I'm sorry. Um, where two guys, or Rice and Jack Throat? Okay. Do you guys know who they are? Sorry? Do you know who they are? Uh, no, but according to the, to, the, to the reading, they were some uh, marketers and they offered to the world a way to think about making a brand member memorable uh, actually, actually you know in the states they are giants in their fields i mean they got big companies really okay. big companies yeah and we, we were talking with our my partners that we have some brands mem memorable memorable brands uh, and in this case if in this case if you talk or think about hey just I give want me one just give me one just give me one because I, that question I will ask some other people. Just give me one. Well, 
Uh -huh. if, if you think, if, if you want to go to, the, to eat pizza with your family, uh, your, first, your first thought is Pizza Hut. This is memorable, right? Okay, yeah, sure, it is. Now, let's see, for the second question, Chanira, tell me one, please. Tell me, what, are, what is one brand that have become synonymous with their function? Well, I'm not sure it's the synonymous, but we think that the the brand uh, making think in in this product. For example, when you say rinse, you think yes, in. Sure. Yeah, it's do you say it's detergente? Synonymous. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's What's soap. Soap. Yes, come on, soap. Ah, yeah, so, okay, this is uh, our, our example. Yeah, because I mean, you say uh, detergent, but it doesn't refer to the, to the same stuff. Yeah, but if you say rinse, automatically you refer to soap, right? Even if it's another yes. brand. Right. You say, let's go buy, uh, you send somebody from your house to buy Rinso. And you ask for a Rinso, but for another brand sometimes. Has it happened yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lejia is the same story. When you go yeah. to the, you say, Lejia, Lejia is part of the brand, Lejia Magia Blanca. But the people say, what kind of Lejia do you want? But Lejia is a brand, it's not yeah, a it's, product. Yeah, the product is chlorine. Yeah. But nobody says chlorine. People say lejia. Yeah, it's, it's only, only people say lejia. Yeah, it's funny, right? Yeah, really funny. Okay, let's see, let's see. Guys, this is an open question. Do you have any other brand that uh, has become synonymous with, the, with their function? Pampers. Pampers, yeah, sure. Pampers is a, it's a, it was a brand at the beginning and now became, became synonymous with the function actually. Another one, guys? Pollo Campero, teacher. Yeah, in that case, uh, you say campero and everybody knows that you are talking about chicken, right? Fried chicken. It's a well-known brand. It's the same goes like in the States if you say Kentucky, Kentucky fried chicken, KFC. Automatically people know, how, if you say KFC, everybody knows that you're talking about chicken. Um, okay. Hey guys, ketchup is, is another teacher. Yeah, katsu. It's right. Well, katsu in Spanish. Ketchup. Yeah, sure. That's tomato sauce. It's actually tomato sauce. But you say ketchup. But ketchup and... is not a brand. No, it's the name of a product, but the product actually is tomato sauce. But ketchup, it is a brand. No, it's not a brand. Okay. But uh, how can I explain? This is, in this case, we are gotten into something more complex. And we will need more time in order to, 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 to explain, okay? Mm. But we will. Let me take notes so we can allowed some time to get rid of this. Do you have another brand, guys? No? Okay, let's see. Uh, in the case of 
uh, ketchup, man. The problem is this. Actually, the let's see if I'm not mistaken, because once once we have the same discussion in a class, actually the origin of the word is Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. And it referred to a sauce, but the funny thing is this. That sauce didn't even include tomatoes. It was a spicy sauce. But we will talk about later. Uh, sorry, it's the, the dog. Sorry. Uh, it's the end of the week. And I needed to remind you the, the activities from the platform. Some of you are pretty, pretty well behind on the platform. So I will advise you to please make an effort to work on it because supposedly for today, we are supposed to have finished section one, two, three, and midterm, okay? So let's try to hurry up. And if you got any question, please contact me. Now, let me get the final attendance, please. I'm Barelli Alfaro Gomez. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Claudia Elisa Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Thank you, I just saw you, Roxana. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Did I mention your name? Present teacher. Night teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán, yes, sorry. Present. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you guys. I Present. hope you, thank you Shanira. I hope you have and enjoy a very good weekend. I see you tomorrow. Remember any doubt, contact me anytime. Have a good night. Take care. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye, see you. Bye bye. You. See you Monday. You are good weekend. Same to you, my friend. Enjoy it. Thank you, teacher. Bye, Roxana. Be good. Be good. Martha. Hey, Walter. Hello, teacher. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm going to fight, teacher. <clears throat> okay, let me check. Let me check, Walter. How are we doing in the platform? I finished, teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. Section three. Yes, you did. Actually, you got a hundred in section three. And That's fine. Uh, Congratulations. Today. Okay. That's Thank great. you. That's great. Teacher, I have a question. I yes, have a question. Please. Tell me. Um, I didn't and the finish the English, the INSA for English Corporativo. I didn't uh, to learn uh, uh, I continue my class in English. I didn't I didn't know the student uh, 
a school um, open in English. Uh, excuse me. Is the cost? Say, is the is the cost is how do you say caro? Expensive. Expensive. Is the cost expensive? To go to study at an academy. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah, ah. you know this this type, this type of course, the situation is this, Walter. Mm -hmm. These type of courses are actually you are receiving an intensive course. Regular courses in academies, in regular academies, they are just four hours per week. Yes. Those are regular courses. Now, the most are five. Here, you are receiving 10 hours. Oh, 10 hours okay. a week. Uh, uh, let me tell me. you something. Oh, 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 okay. You just, you just let me know when you finish and, and I, I can help you with that. I mean, like to position yourself in the best way. So don't worry about it. Oh, okay. We're gonna help you. Now, Walter, okay. let's see. Yeah, in your case, actually, what I need you to work more is in, you got vocabulary, you need to practice pronunciation. Okay? Yes, I need, do you, I need. <laughs> and do you remember when you were working in the platform? Do you remember that once I show you a place where you could look for info, for information? Let me share with you. Okay, let me, let's see. Hold on. Okay. Remember this, you got this, right? Yes. Come to Centro de Ayuda. Come all the way down. And here yes. in Cursos Académicos, uh -huh. pronunciation. Okay. Here are different types of exercises. You got rhythm and intonation, sound drills, pronunciation guides. So if you come here, you will get some exercises and if you come all the way here, there are audios. Okay. okay. Ah, okay they can help okay. you improve your pronunciation. Okay. Okay. And so when you take a computer, I think to practice in vacation. Perfect. Excellent. That's the idea. I mean, to be able to practice. And you have a very good resource there. Tiene un muy buen recurso ahí. Sí. You, eh. So you can, and now that we are going to make a, a little pause, y estos días que vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa, I will recommend you to practice at least 10 minutes, por lo menos 10 minutos, daily, a diario. But you need to be very disciplined and do it. Keep on doing it. Don't stop, okay? Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, voy a intentarlo. Yeah, en, 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 I can, I can see my partners and four or three partners. Eh, it's good than speaking in English. For example, Wilfredo, Wilfredo, guardado. Oh, yeah, Wilfredo. yeah. He works, and the, he's, he works for a call center and ah, he's yes. got some, some co-workers who speak English. That's yes. an extra practice he gets. Claudia, Claudia, se me olvida, creo que Claudia se llama la, la otra señora. Oh, yeah, sure. Ah, yes. Sure. The same. Because, um, um, yes, and Silvia. Oh, oh yeah, good. sure. She practices yes. English almost every day, man. Teacher, my uh, my proposal is a uh, llegar por lo menos hablar como ellos. <laughs> Man, it, it is possible. Don't worry, it is. Sí, it is possible. It's possible and, for me. And you are in the best way. Eh, yo recuerdo que usted Walter lo conocí hace varios meses en otro curso, ¿verdad? Sí, ya venimos de como usted como cuatro cursos cruzando. Yo he comenzado desde cero. Solo que yo teacher tuve 
desde que salí de, de mi estudio de bachillerato, ya yo no había, nunca había intentado pero, estudiar ni pero nada. Acá, antes, antes de esta última secuencia que llevamos juntos, creo que estuve con usted en un curso antes, en uno de los básicos. Sí, sí, sí estuvo como en el tercero o cuarto de los básicos. Ok, Walter, créame que su, lo que es su listening comprehension anda bastante bien, porque usted me entiende todo. Eh, sí. Su mm. reading comprehension es excelente. Ah, yes, yes. Entonces, en lo que, por eso le decía yo, su reading comprehension es muy bueno. Usted lee y todos los ejercicios me lo hacen muy bien. What I would recommend you is work on pronunciation. La yes. La pronunciación. Y ahí también va a encontrar vocabulary y vocabulario. Eso le va a permitir speak more. Oh, yes. Lo sé, teacher. I know. I know. So make a daily effort. Haga el pequeñito esfuerzo. And you'll see, you'll feel that you are giving, you are making advances. Va mejor. Oh. Va a sentir que está avanzando. Que está mejorando. Improving. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No, and if you need any extra practice, let me know. If you need any practice extra, me avisa, okay? You can ah, text okay. me. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. A pleasure. No, pleasure was mine. Have a good night, Walter. Have a good night, Chef. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Okay, well, see you guys. Take a look